ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय वेलकम ऑल टू टुडेज रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्री चैतन्य चरितमृत रीडिंग फ्रॉम द आदि लीला चैप्टर फोर मुखम करोति वाचलम पंगुम लंगहते गिरिम यत्कृपात हम वंदे श्री गुरु दीन तारिणम परमानंद माधवम श्री चैतन्य ईश्वर हरिओम तत्स Verse sixty-three. O Lord, you are the support of everything. The three attributes, Ladini, Sandini, and Samvid, exist in you as one spiritual energy. But the material modes, which cause happiness, misery, and mixtures of the two, do not exist in you. You have no material qualities. This verse is from the Vishnu Puran. One point twelve point six nine. हलादिनी संधिनी संवित वही एका सर्व संस्थितो हलादा ताप करी मिश्र वही नो नो गुना वर्चिते वर्स 64 The essential portion of the संधिनी potency is शुद्ध सत्व Lord Krishna's existence rests upon it Verse sixty-five. Krishna's mother, father, abode, house, bedding, seats, and so on are all transformations of Shuddha Sattva. Purport: Lord Krishna's father, mother, and household affairs are all displayed in the same Vishuddha Sattva existence. A living entity situated in the status of pure goodness can understand the form, qualities, and other features of the supreme personality of Godhead. Krishna consciousness begins on the platform of pure goodness although there is a faint realization of Krishna at first Krishna is actually realized as Vasudev the absolute proprietor of omnipotence or the prime predominating deity of all potencies when the living entity is situated in vishuddha sattva transcendental to the three material modes of nature he can perceive the form quality and other features of the supreme personality of godhead through his service attitude the status of pure goodness is the platform of understanding for the supreme lord is always in spiritual existence krishna is always all spiritual aside from the parents of the personality of godhead all the other paraphernalia of his existence are also essentially a manifestation of sandhini shakti or a transformation of vishuddha sattva to make this more clear it may be said that this sandhini shakti of the internal potency maintains and manifests all the variegatedness of the spiritual world in the kingdom of god the lord servants and maid servants his consorts his father and mother and everything else are all transformations of the spiritual existence of sandhini shakti the existential sandhini shakti in the external potency similarly expands all the variegatedness of the material cosmos from which we can have a glimpse of the spiritual field verse 66 the condition of pure goodness that is the shuddha sattva in which the supreme personality of godhead is revealed without any covering is called vasudev in that pure state of the supreme godhead who is beyond the material senses and who is known as vasudev is perceived by my mind This text from Shiva Bhagavatam 4.3.23. This is the purport spoken by Lord Shiva when he condemned Daksha, the father of Sati, as an opponent of Vishnu. Confirms beyond a doubt that Lord Krishna, his name, his fame, his qualities, and everything in connection with his paraphernalia exist in the Sandhini Shakti of the Lord's internal potency. Verse 67. Jiva Shiva 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 Shiva
purport the activities of the samvet shakti produce the effect of cognition both the lord and the living entities are cognizant shri krishna as the supreme personality of godhead has full knowledge of everything everywhere and therefore there are no hindrances to his cognition he can have knowledge merely by glancing over an object whereas innumerable impediments block the cognition of ordinary living beings the cognition of the living beings has three divisions direct knowledge indirect knowledge and perverted knowledge sense perception of material objects by the mundane senses such as the eye ear nose and hand always produces definitely perverted knowledge this illusion is a presentation of the material energy which is influenced by the samvit shakti in a perverted manner negative cognition of an object beyond the reach of sense perception is the way of indirect knowledge which is not altogether imperfect but which produces only fragmentary knowledge in the form of impersonal spiritual realization and monism but when the samvit factor of cognition is enlightened by the ladini potency of the same internal energy they work together and only thus can one attain knowledge of the personality of godhead the samvit shakti should be maintained in that state material knowledge and indirect spiritual knowledge are by products of the samvit shakti verse 68 the essence of the ladini potency is love of god the essence of love of god is emotion that is bhav and the ultimate development of emotion is mahabhav purport the product of the ladini shakti is love of godhead which has two divisions namely pure love of godhead and adulterated love of godhead only when the ladini shakti emanates from shri krishna and is bestowed upon the living being to attract him does the living being becomes a pure lover of god but when the same ladini shakti is adulterated by the external material energy and emanates from the living being it does not attract krishna on the contrary the living being becomes attracted by the glamour of the material energy at the same at that time instead of becoming mad with love of godhead the living being becomes mad after material sense enjoyment and because of his association with the qualitative modes of material nature he is captivated by its interactions of distressful unhappy feelings verse 69 shri radha thakurani is the embodiment of mahabhav she is the repository of all good qualities and the crest jewel among all the lovely consorts of lord krishna purport the unadulterated love action of the ladini shakti is displayed in the dealings of the damsels of raja and shrimati radharani who is the topmost participant in that transcendental group the essence of the ladini shakti is love of godhead the essence of love of godhead is bhav or transcendental sentiment and the highest pitch of that bhav is called mahabhav Shrimati Radharani is the personified embodiment of these three aspects of transcendental consciousness. She is therefore the highest principle in love of Godhead and is the supreme lovable object of Shri Krishna. Verse seventy of these two gopis, Radharani and Chandravali, Shrimati Radharani is superior in all respects. She is the embodiment of Mahabhav and she surpasses all in good qualities. Purport. This is quotation from Sri Larup Goswami's Ujjwal Nilamani. Radha Prakaran three. Verse seventy one. Her mind, senses, and body are steeped in love for Krishna. She is Krishna's own energy, and she helps him in his pastimes. Purport Shrimati Radharani is as fully spiritual as Krishna no one should consider her to be material she is definitely not like the conditioned souls who have material bodies gross and subtle 
covered by material senses. She is all spiritual and both her body and her mind are of the same spiritual embodiment. Because her body is spiritual, her senses are also spiritual. Thus her body, mind and senses fully shine in love of Krishna. She is the personified Lavini Shakti, the pleasure giving energy of the Lord's internal potency. And therefore, she is the only source of enjoyment for Sri Krishna. Sri Krishna cannot enjoy anything that is internally different from him. Therefore, Radha and Krishna are identical. The Sandhini portion of Sri Krishna's internal energy has manifested the all-attractive form of Sri Krishna and the same internal potency in the Ladini feature has presented Srimati Radharani, who is the attraction for all attractive. No one can match Srimati Radharani in the transcendental pastimes of Sri Krishna. Verse 72 I worship Govinda, the primeval lord, who resides in his own realm, Golok, with Radharani, who resembles his own spiritual figure and who embodies the ecstatic potency Ladini. Their companions are her confidants who embody extensions of her bodily form and who are imbued and permeated with ever blissful spiritual rasa. This text is from the Brahma Samhita 5.37. Verse 73. Now please listen to our Lord Krishna's consorts help him taste rasa and how they help in his pastimes. Verse 74 and 75, the beloved concepts of Lord Krishna are of three kinds, the, the goddesses of fortune, the queens and the milkmaids of Raja, who are the foremost of all these concepts, all proceed from Radhika. Verse 76, just as the fountainhead Lord Krishna is the cause of all incarnations, so Sri Radha is the cause of all these consorts. Verse 77, the goddesses of fortune are partial manifestations of Srimati Radhika and the queens are reflections of her image. The Verse 79, the Vraja Devis, that is the gopis, have diverse bodily features. They are her expansions and are the instrument for expanding rasa. Verse 80, without many consorts, there is not such exaltation in rasa. Therefore, there are many manifestations of Srimati Radharani to assist in the Lord's pastimes. Verse 81, among them are various groups of consorts in Vraja who have varieties of sentiments and mellows. They help Lord Krishna taste all the sweetness of the Rasa dance and other pastimes. Purport, as already explained, Krishna and Radha are one in two. They are identical. Krishna expands himself in multi-incarnations and plenary portions like the Purushas. Similarly, Srimati Radharani expands herself in multi-forms as the goddesses of the fortune, the queens and the damsels of Raja, such expansions from Srimati Radharani are all her plenary, plenary portions. All these womanly forms of Krishna are expansions corresponding to his plenary expansions of Vishnu forms. These expansions have been compared to reflected forms of the original form. There is no difference between the original form and the reflected forms. The female reflections of Krishna's pleasure potency are as good as Krishna himself. The plenary expansions of Krishna's personality are called Vaibhav Vilas and Vaibhav Prakash and Radha's expansions are similarly described. The goddesses of fortune are her Vaibhav Vilas forms and the queens are her Vaibhav Prakash forms. The personal associates of Radharani, the damsels of Raja are direct expansions of her body as expansions of her personal form and transcendental disposition they are agents of different reciprocations of love in the pastimes of Lord Krishna under the supreme direction of Srimati Radharani in the transcendental realm. Enjoyment is fully relished in variety. The exuberance of transcendental mellows is increased by the association of a large number of personalities similar to Radharani 
who are also known as gopis or sakhis. The variety of innumerable mistresses is source of relish for Sri Krishna and therefore these expansions from Srimati Radhirani are necessary for enhancing the pleasure potency of Sri Krishna. Their transcendental exchanges of love are the super excellent affairs of the pastimes in Vrindavan. By these expansions of Srimati Radharani's personal body, she helps Lord Krishna taste the rasa dance and other similar activities. Srimati Radharani being the central petal of the rasa Leela flower is also known by the names found in the following verses. Verse 82, Radha is the one who gives pleasure to Govinda and she is also the enchantress of Govinda. She is the be-all and end-all of Govinda and the crest jewel of all his consorts. The transcendental goddess, this is verse 83 now. The transcendental goddess Srimati Radharani is the direct counterpart of Lord Sri Krishna. She is the central figure for all the goddesses of fortune. She possesses all the attractiveness to attract the all attractive personality of Godhead. She is the primeval internal potency of the Lord. This is from Brihad Gautamiya Tantra. Verse 84, Devi means resplendent and most beautiful or else it means the lovely abode of the worship and love sports of Lord Krishna. Krishna Bhai means one who within and without are Lord Krishna. One who's within and without are Lord Krishna. She sees Lord Krishna everywhere. She casts her glance. Verse 86. Or Krishna Bhai means that she is identical with Lord Krishna or she embodies the mellows of love. The energy of Lord Krishna is identical with him. Purpad Krishna Bhai has two different imports. First, a person who always thinks of Krishna both within and without and who always remembers only Krishna wherever he goes or whatever he sees is called Krishna Mai. Also since Krishna's personality is full of love, his loving potency Radharani being non-different from him is called Krishna Mai. Verse 87, the name Radha is derived from the root word Aradhana which means worship. The personality who excels all in worshipping Krishna may therefore be called Radhika, the greatest servitor. And this verse goes like this. Krishna Vansha Purti Rupa Kare Aradhane Atayva Radhika Nam Purne Vakhane Verse 88, truly the personality of Godhead has been worshipped by her, therefore Lord Govinda, being pleased, has brought her to a lonely spot, leaving us all behind. This is from Srimad Bhagavatam 10.30, prompt 2.8. Verse 89, therefore Radha is Param Devta, the Supreme Goddess, and she is worshipable for everyone. She is the protect protectress of all, and she is the mother of the entire universe. Verse 90, I have already explained the meaning of Sarva Lakshmi. Radha is the original source of all the goddesses of fortune. Verse 91, or Sarva Lakshmi indicates that she fully represents the six opulences of Krishna. Therefore, she is the supreme energy of Lord Krishna. Verse 92, the word Sarvakanti indicates that all beauty and luster rest in her body. All the Lakshmis derive their beauty from her. Verse 93, Kanti may also mean all the desires of Lord Krishna. All the desires of Lord Krishna rest in Srimati Radharani. Verse 94, Srimati Radhika fulfills all the desires of Lord Krishna. This is the meaning of Sarvakanti. Verse 95, Lord Krishna enchants the world but Sri Radha enchants the even him. Therefore, she is the supreme goddess of all. Nine, verse 96, she, Radha is the full power and Lord Krishna is the possessor of full power. The two are not different as evidenced by the revealed scriptures.
so we will continue from here onwards next time thank you for joining me Adiyam Tatsab Hare Krishna